What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Red Knight. She is a legendary outfit. She is part of the Fortnite set. She does come with the back being red shield. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So Red Knight. During season four, the Red Knight was one of the most hyped skins and for good reasons. She was part of the same set as the Black Knight and she's the female counterpart to that skin. She does have a shield, which in my opinion, the, the shields are one of the best backlinks you could obtain. And sadly, there's not more in the item shop that look identical to this one, but that's why it's so rare. I do like the design of the all red with the black chain mills, and then the shield itself is pretty cool and very universal with all black and red skins. So what do I think about Red Knight? Red Knight is a very cool skin. I do like it. I like the overall design of it, and then the shield itself, the backling, amazing backling. It just goes really well with a lot of skins. So what's my final rating on Red Knight? I got to get Red Knight a 9 out of 10. I do like her. The only sad part is they did copy her to the ground, which is the frozen Red Knight, and then you have the dark Red Knight. Um, I'm pretty sure they could have used another skin model, but they just keep reusing this one. And for that reason, I'm giving it such a low rating. But other than that, the backlink itself pays for the skin. I highly suggest you guys buying it because this backlink is going to go with every red skin you actually own. So it looks really good. So without further ado, guys, let's get these combos started. From first combination, I'm going with the red nine and I'm pairing it up with the ice mantle color black. I do like the ice mantle, especially because it does give it that same royal feel the skin actually has. And then it does have that red glow on the tip of it. And overall, it's all black and it goes really well with the color schemes of the red knight. For the harvesting tool, we're going with the sawtooth. The main reason why I'm going with the sawtooth because it has that rusted red look that the red knight actually does have. It's also implemented in the harvesting tool and overall it just looks very clean. For the glider, we're going with the wet paint. It does have graffiti, but the main color is red and it has the same faded red color that the harvesting tool and the skin does have. For the contra, we're going with the celestial. There's not a lot of contra that actually fit the red knight and the celestial is actually very cool. And I just love it. It's one of my favorite contrasts I do own. It just looks really good with the Red Knight. And for the wrap, we're going with the Knight in. You do obtain it during this season. It is from the same set. And the color scheme is identical to the Red Knight. And I do like it. So enjoy the combo. For my second combination, I am pairing it up with the Rust Bucket. You did obtain the Rust Bucket free during Season 3 if you play when the servers were down. I just like the way it actually looks on the skin. It's all red and rusted, just like the skin itself. For the Harvin tool, we're going with the Pinpoint. I do like the Pinpoint for the simple fact it is black and red. It goes really well with the skin and then the point is silver, so it gives it that little flare actually needs. For the Glider, we're going with the Downshift. The Glider itself is all black. But then whenever you glide into the battlefield, it does leave a red control and it goes really well with the red knight. For the control, we're going with the spectral essence, a very simplistic control. You really don't need any flashy control for the skin, especially because really none of them actually match the red knight, but this one looks decent and looks really good. And for the rat, we're going with the scavenger. The main reason why I'm going with the scavenger, it does have black and white and then color with red and the white goes really well with the tip of the harvesting tool and overall it just looks really cool. So enjoy the combo. For the last combination, I am pairing it up with the Iron Cage. The main reason why I'm pairing it up with the Iron Cage, it just gives it that medieval look that the skin actually does have. And overall, it's a very clean combination. For the Harvesting Tool, we're going with the Fan Saws. I do like how the Fan Saws actually go really well with the skin, especially with the color scheme being almost identical to the same color. It just has the rusted red look to it and it just looks real clean. For the Glider, we're going with the Steel Wing. Again, this whole vibe gives me a medieval vibe to it. So the Steel Wing is actually perfect for that. It is an armored dragon, it is from the same set, so it overall looks really clean together. For the Contra, we're going with the Dark Feathers. The main reason why I'm going with the Dark Feathers is due to the back being having feathers. But not only that, it does give it a black aura and it looks really clean. 
For the rap, we're going with the knighted again. I don't think there's any other rap that actually goes better with the red knight than the knighted. It is red and black, and those are the same color schemes as the red knight, and just looks clean. So enjoy the combo. And those are the three combinations I've found so far for Red Knight. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos where we pay cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is and I'm kid, all caps to these all together. You don't have to use me, but he's a smaller YouTuber that could really use the help. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.